Namaste everybody, welcome back to my class Get Educated with Vaishali. Today I am going to teach you about direct and indirect speak. But before we get started, I would like to tell you if you have any type of doubt in my classes, just write in the comment section, I will reply you. And if you are new subscriber, please subscribe my channel for the latest video. Direct and indirect speech have three different types of rules and regulations and we have to follow that. First of the rule is, in direct speech, the main sentence has been written in the inverted commas. But in the indirect speech, they does not have any type of inverted comma. And the second rule of that is, the main speech has been started with the capital letter. And in direct speech, they don't have any type of capital letters or in the commas. And the third and the is in direct speech, we should not have to add any word before the main sentence. But in indirect speech, we have to add the word before the main sentence. For example, he said I went there. He said I went there. That's it. But in indirect speech, he said that he had gone there. It means they are adding that word in indirect speech. The second example is, she said, I am a clever girl. But in indirect speech, she said that she was a clever girl. The third and the last is, Vaishali said, I have been working since morning. Now we have to write, what is the indirect speech? Vaishali said, that she had been working since morning. It means in this sentence we are adding that she had the three main words. In direct speech and indirect speech have this much different. You have to just notice the main three rules then you get easy to confirm what is the indirect speech and what is the direct speech. Thank you for watching my video.